A year ago, I made a video on the differences of getting a medical degree in the US versus India, the changes in the education system, and I made a second video where I spoke about how someone can actually transition and uh, practice medicine in the US if they've completed their MBBS from India. To talk, you know, speaking about US simile and all that stuff. Now, both of those videos blew out of proportion and you guys absolutely loved it and came back asking a ton of questions. So in today's video, we have a special guest on our channel who is actually right in the middle of this process. Um, he has completed his MBBS from India, Bangalore, my home city, and is currently in the process of completing the USMLE steps to transition and practice medicine in the US. So we're gonna talk firsthand to someone who's actually gone through this process and you know we're gonna tackle all of these issues such as cost, how much time and effort you're going to be spending and also like bust, bust some myths. I know that in my previous videos um, there were some like questions around if you've done your MBBS in India do you need to complete at least one year or some amount of time in the US before you can come here. You know, we're gonna talk about that and literally all your questions are gonna be answered. We have a very special guest on our channel today. We have Manik here joining. He has his very own YouTube channel, which is all about medicine. And for all of you guys that have been, you know, pestering me for the last one year on how someone who's done their MBBS can transition into the US, this guest is specifically for you. So I'm not gonna waste any time. Uh, Manik, why don't you go ahead and give us a quick little introduction about yourself. Hey everybody, my name is Manik Madan. I'm a medical graduate from uh, India. So I did my MBBS from Kim's Medical College, Bengaluru, which is in South India. So like the state's Karnataka. So right now I'm going through my USMLE journey and um, I hope to match into a US residency, specifically psychiatry. That's where I'm applying at. Uh, at about March 18th, that's the match date. So I'm going through the USMLE process right now. And I'm just so happy that I got to make this video with Saloni. I mean, I'm a huge fan, you know, like, thank you so much. Yeah, Absolutely. You know, I, I didn't realize that you did your medical college in Bangalore. My parents live there. I've done my entire high school from uh, Bangalore. So very familiar with the area. It's a wonderful city to be in. So uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, how you did your high school, what was undergrad like, and what was your thought process behind, uh, you know, uh, making that transition that you wanted to actually practice medicine in the US? Right. I think even before I joined medical school, uh, so both my parents are doctors. Okay. So I've seen how medicine is practiced in India. So I always was like, okay, how's medicine in the US? So I used to watch videos about, okay, doctors in America, you know, like uh, at that time there was Grey's Anatomy and uh, like not, what was the name of the show? Grey's, uh, what's the name of the show? I think Grey's, Grey's Anatomy uh, was Scrubs. the name. And there's, there's Scrubs. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. There's, there are a couple of them. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, I want to become a doctor in the US, like from the start, right before even I joined med school. So anyways, med school, I, I joined med school because uh, I, I love medicine. I've seen uh, medicine, like I, I, it's just such a noble profession and you get uh, to be of service to humanity. Process of getting into a uh, residency in America is USMLE. Uh, without that, it's not possible. So I started preparing for USMLE, I think from my third year of med school and then uh, prepared for the step. This, so there are like two steps, uh, main steps, USMLE step one, which I ended up writing in uh, my internship. I got a 260 on that, which is in the 99th percentile, uh, not 99th, sorry, 96th percentile. You have to be accurate with this, right? So, uh, and then one year later, I wrote my USMLE step two CK, ended up getting a 271, which is in the 99th percentile and uh, did a lot of work uh, in psychiatry in a hospital, BJ Medical College uh, to build up my CV for that. And uh, right now I'm just going through the process. That's it. Nice. Wow. Like hats off. It must have uh, been, you know, really hectic trying to manage two whole different education systems and trying to like navigate around all that. So that's that's pretty cool. The one question I have is, um, you know, I was doing a lot of research and also a lot of my viewers want to know there is one requirement that's kind of floating around on the Internet that um, if you're an international student who's transitioning to the U.S., you have to complete at least one year of undergrad in the U.S. How true is this? No. I don't think so. Like, it's absolutely not true. Okay. Like, I've, I've not done it. Like, so I don't think that's true. Like, if you do your degree from India, like MBBS, you complete your internship, you are like, you know, you can 
just give your USMLE steps and go and match into a residency. You don't need to do like one year pre-med in the US to get into a residency. So perfect. No. So we know that you know uh, this is one pathway that um, a student can come into the U.S. if they want to practice medicine. Another pathway, of course, is uh, you know giving uh, the whole pre-med and the MD process in the U.S. itself. So my viewers, if they're interested in that, they can you know definitely watch my other video that I've explained the entire process. We won't go deep into that. Uh, but what I want to know from you is um, what are the costs of this whole process associated? How much have you already spent? What do you anticipate spending? And and, uh, you know, is this something that you did uh, uh, your research on prior to like deciding? And was this one of the factors? Uh, like in the end, the average cost for most people ends up being like $20,000. For me, it was like, uh, yeah, on an average $20,000. Uh, if they're like, this, and this is because we have virtual interviews right now. So like, you know, to get into residency, you have to give interviews. So if the interviews are virtual, you don't have to fly it to that certain place, which makes everything cheaper, right? So that's why right now it's like 20K. Otherwise, it would have been like 23K, 24K. Uh, if you have to fly out to different places, stay in a hotel there, you know how expensive the US is. So because of that, the cost has significantly dropped because of virtual interviews. Coming on to the price, USMLE step one is about $1,000 on average. Step two CK again is $1,000. Resources for them, uh, like let's say you want to prepare for step one, are like you have you need a question bank called U World, which is like four hundred dollars. Uh, for step two CK, you need a question bank again like U World, which is again four hundred dollars. So th this is like the bare minimum requirement, I think. And then uh, you have to do uh, clinical rotations in the US. So those clinical rotations themselves cost close to how much? So one clinical rotation on an, on an average is about one thousand five hundred dollars, and three like on an average you have to do three. So it's about four thousand five hundred dollars minimum for clinical rotations that you have to pay, uh, let's say intuition, and then you have to stay there and you know how expensive US rent is. So thousand dollars for rent. So on an average for three clinical rotations, you're going to spend $8,000. Uh, then you have to apply for the match. And uh, for the match, you have to, let's say, uh, apply to 150 programs. The total cost of that comes to about how much? So let's say, I think 4,000, $3,000, $3,000, $4,000. So in total, it's about 20K. I, I, I can't put the, I can't, uh, you know, uh, comment on the whole cost specifically for everyone because it's going to vary depending upon, let's say for some people, they do four rotations. For some people, they do five rotations. And then uh, some people end up writing step one again because they couldn't make it, you know, uh, in their first go. So it, uh, it can massively vary, but on an average, $20,000. So the next question that I have for you is how has the whole journey been for you personally? And, you know, uh, stress levels talk a little bit about, you know, that um, uh, is it, you know, much harder compared to kind of going through the process in India and um, just in general, have, was there any point in this, uh, you know, journey that you thought, you know, I, I don't want to do this and maybe we should just kind of quit and I can kind of just do whatever I want to in India. If I've decided on something, I'm going to make it no matter what happens. So I'm like, there have been hard points, let's say like the first day I arrived in the U S you know, like everything is so different, you know, the pricing dollars and you're like, okay, one packet of chips is about $5, $10 while in India, you get the same thing for like 10 rupees. Right. So like the pricing was a shock. I, I was like, oh my God, this is so expensive. Then the rent itself was a shock. So a lot of the times I was, and with COVID going, there were so many hardships uh, regarding you know, COVID tests, vaccination, because I hope you remember like uh, co-vaccine and COVID shield were first not accepted in the US as vaccines. Like, I think now they are. Mm -hmm. uh, so I had to get re-vaccinated with Moderna. Uh, like, so like I, I was vaccinated with COVID shield two times, I think. And then I got vaccinated with Moderna once and that gave me like a week long fever. So there were so many times, uh, you know, that it became so hard, but you know, you do what you have to do. You never quit. But <laughs> I rest, like that. rest and all, rest and all, I enjoyed it. Like I have to say, like I've enjoyed my clinical rotation in the US, you know, uh, even though it's been hard, but I've really enjoyed uh, making friends in the US, traveling the US. I've been to New York, a uh, lovely place. I had this uh, pizza called, uh, what is the joint name called? Which pizza? Like... Prince Street Pizza, by any chance? Joey's is pretty famous Joey, too. Joey, Joey's there is great. Go. 
and then you have ardi chokes i love ardi chokes mm-hmm. also so i love joys and ardi chokes i had so much of like you know fun eating at different uh, joints uh, i've been to chicago so deep dish pizza you know had so much fun so uh it it's been an enjoyable journey. Uh, Manik's there to help all of you guys so if you guys want help feel free to reach out to him. Definitely go subscribe to his channel if you're interested in this journey like this is uh so much of information and it's coming filtered through someone who's doing the process right now not someone who's done it 10 years ago or someone who's thinking of doing it. He's right in the middle of it. So if someone is in like a similar path uh you know definitely check out manik's channel now um just like last thoughts over here um what would be any advice or any recommendation for students who are watching this video right now so my first uh, advice to you is just be fearless don't really worry about things let's say like i've always like told myself this is even if let's say i don't make it through i don't match you know it's still going to be fine like i'll find another way to get into the system because you know don't just give up like be fearless do whatever it takes and if you want it like you know hustle that's how you make it like saloni would know it cuz getting into harvard is not an easy job like it takes a lot of hustle and uh, just be ready to hustle if you want to get into a uh, medical residency in the us it's not an easy task and it needs a lot of multi uh, tasking cuz like you know in india it's more about getting a rank and that's it like you know get a good rank you get into medical college get a good rank you get into a pg uh, you get a pg seat and it's done residency right in the us it's not so simple high step scores won't like be you know you don't just need high step scores you need much more like you need to refine your cv you need to go uh, participate in poster presentations and uh, case presentations and you need to do volunteer activity research activity like you know there's just so much to the game here uh, clinical rotations and you need to have in, you need to know interviewing uh, you need to learn interviewing skills uh, which i think in india aren't taught as much like especially to medical students and i think that should be uh, something you should also learn like there's a system for interviewing right what what's this like star right s t a r so that's something i learned and i'm grateful that i've learned that so there's a lot of multi uh, tasking here so just get get ready for that and get ready for hustle if you want to get into medical residency in the US perfect i think i couldn't have put it i couldn't have put it in any better way um you know focusing on interpersonal skills um equivalent to grades marks and just um, other aspects um uh would go a long way. So thank you very much uh Manik for uh stepping in and having this chat with us. Uh everyone uh is going to be so grateful. I can already uh you know see so much of valuable resource that you know has come out of this talk. Uh thank you so much for joining us today. Take care guys. Subscribe, yeah. like and subscribe. We never said that. Like and subscribe, yeah. <laughs> like and subscribe to both channels if you aren't already. Like come on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, great. So that was a ton of information to take in and I'm going to leave time stamps to all of these parts of the interview so you can kind of like re- rewatch it and get all that information again if you need it but uh, leave your comments below if there's something that we did not address uh, Mike or myself will address these questions in the comments and try to help you guys out as much as we can in your journey uh, but that's pretty much about it for this video uh, subscribe to the channel smash that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one bye